Okay, to get started, I imported a green screen video into my media bin, as well as a video clip that I'd like to replace the green screen with. First, let's add the green screen video to our timeline by double clicking it. And then double click your other video to add that as well. Next, drag your green screen video up onto the track above so it's on top of your other video. And I'm just going to adjust the duration of my video so that it matches the green screen clip. Alright, now select your green screen clip on the timeline and go over to More Tools. Select Chroma Key from the side menu. Your cursor should automatically turn into a dropper. If not, make sure the color option is selected. Then click on any part of the green screen in your video preview to get rid of it. Okay, Muvavi did a great job, but the hair is looking a little green. If your video isn't perfect like mine, adjust the tolerance to get rid of any remaining green. Aside from that, this looks good, but there's other adjustment sliders to make refinements if needed. Changing the noise will affect how much artifacting Muvavi tries to get rid of. I like this turned all the way down. The edge slider affects the amount of edge detail. I think mine looks smoothest on the lowest setting. Lastly, opacity affects the transparency of your selected green color. I don't want to darken my image, so I'll leave mine at 10. Then just hit apply when you're done making adjustments. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to check out the link in the description for an exclusive discount on Muvavi Video Editor Plus. Thanks for watching and see you next time.